Uh, Dr. Crutcher, let me start with, um, I want to play part of it. I know it is, first of all, my thoughts and prayers are with you. Thank you so much. I do want to play a little bit of the actual video from when your brother was shot. I know it's difficult for you to watch, but there's a part of this that has drawn great concern. And let me play uh, that sound from the police officer overhead. That's a, got a feeling that's about to happen. That looks like a bad dude, too, to be honest with you. That looks like a bad dude, too. Your brother was unarmed. His hands are high. What do you hear when you hear that comment? <clears throat> you know, I'm, I'm angered. You know, I've, I've dealt with the whirlwind of emotions over the last few days, pain, hurt, confusion. But when I hear that comment, I get angry because an officer of the law who's paid to protect and serve prejudged my brother, prejudged him. He didn't have a chance to live. And it's just not right. And I have friends, many friends, who wear the blue, who wear the badge, who've reached out and said, that's not a rep representation of us at all, and we stand with you. Um, but I'm just angry. The officer's attorney says that she was concerned about him reaching for his left pocket. Your response to that, based on what we've seen in that video, which did not show that. You know, the video is so clear cut. Um, his hands was in the air. The window was up. The window up. was up. He was unarmed. He was moving slow. He was not a threat. He was not a fleeing felon. They had helicopters, multiple cops. Um, they treated him like he was a New York bomber. And the New York bomber is alive right now. Mm -hmm. He's alive, but my brother is dead who didn't commit a crime. That bad dude was in school. That bad dude is a father. Now I, I, my heart aches for my nieces and nephew. My nephew just two days ago was looking for his daddy. Where's daddy? And we you make the comparison with the New York bomber. Many people have made this saying the bomber who was arrested yesterday had a weapon. He was firing on police, and yet deadly force was not used uh, in that incident. But with your brother who was unarmed, that is what you are pointing out here. Absolutely. Absolutely. And not only that, Tamron, after he was tased, after he was shot, he laid there. No one, I'm talking about officers who are supposed to protect and serve. No one went to check on my brother. He laid there for at least two minutes, bleeding. They didn't check to see if they could preserve his life. They didn't check for a pulse. And then I just heard that he later died at the hospital. That's not true. He died there on the scene, left for dead. And you can't tell me that people with hearts, they, they can't feel our pain. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.